Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to Black Dog. This is UB versus ECC, Erie Community College, and we're here at the Northtown Center. Buffalo taking on ECC, Ryan Tantello alongside camera operator Dominic Kirshner, producer Kellen Monroe, color commentator John Dwyer, and we are underway here to Velipec, who carries it deep into the ECC zone. Velipec battling with Kruskowski. Chipped to the point by Evans, picked off by Pauly. He sends it through traffic, deflected by both Oak and Vargas. Wide to the net, kept in again at the point. Shot sent on net. Vargas with another deflection in front of Slapik and a great save made by the ECC netminder. Five minutes into the game, Buffalo's offense starting to click on all cylinders. Tommy McCarron out there for UB. Dominic pointed out prior to this game, he leads the Bulls in points, assists, and penalty minutes. Keep an eye out for number 10 to fill that stat sheet up tonight for UB. Speaking of McCarron, he gets to that puck first, tries a backhand centering pass, deflected aside by O'Hara. Excuse me. Big slap shot at the point, sent through traffic, but save made by Zlapik. Off the boards to McCarron. He steps in. Sh one more shot on this power play. Puck still loose. Backhand. They score! I think Cohen got the last touch on that one, but it was the first line of McCarron and O'Shea helping out the captain and Cohen to get that first goal across for UB. Bender, he's driven into the boards by Miller. Knocked off the puck. Totten scoops it up for ECC. Played to the far side. Evans chips it down low. Tatford. Puck taken away. Vargas. Out top for Penrose. Penrose shoots through traffic. Save made. Puck still loose. The Bulls score. I thought Slapik had that puck covered up. The play continued. The puck found its way to the back of the net. And Hector Vargas is going to lead that goal celebration. It's 2-0 Buffalo. What a scrappy play. Very similar to what we saw in that first goal for UB. Yeah, that breakout for ECC going to be huge. There's an unlucky bounce off the ref. And Buffalo able to send that puck deeper into the Cats zone at the point. Sent through traffic on net. The Bulls score again. It was sent in from the point by Weingart. O'Shea got a stick on that one, and it snuck through the five hole of Slapik. And another very similar goal. All three goals for UB have had a similar flavor. Scrappy in front of the netminder. Deflections. And that recipe is working for the Bulls so far. 30 seconds into period number two. And any adjustments that you think ECC would have to come out with, John, in the second period to claw back into the game? I like that, claw back as the ECC cats. But uh, adjustments is just try to find some offensive zone time. And O'Shea with a quick shot and a battle, bottle popper. Wow, what a goal there. Unfortunately, Ryan was adjusting our score sheet and he didn't see that, but that bottle popped right out of the net. And adjustments, man, I would just say get it out of that zone and try to help out your goalie there, Slapic. And the Cats carry it to neutral ice. Now into the UB zone. Manjon gets there first. He circles back. He's got two bowls, four checking him. Loose puck and neutral ice. Pauly scoops it up. He gets knocked off the puck by Tatford. Vargas with a beautiful goal. Velipek with the lead pass. And Vargas goes top shelf to make it 5 nothing UB. Hector Vargas picks up his second goal of the night and of the season. I love to see it. Hector Vargas with two goals on the night. Same thing with O'Shea. They both got a pair. So look for UB to look for these two guys in the rest of this game. I can see Hector Vargas is quite thrilled, and I know his teammates are going to be looking for him as they got 15-27 to go in the next of the superior two. Yeah, UB looks extremely poised in this game tonight. Uh, you know, a team that came in with a couple of pretty premier victories under their belt, Delaware and Fairfield, and they're clicking on all cylinders. Here come the Bulls moving in. It's Labruto to the backhand. He scores! Joe Labruto with a beautiful breakaway goal. He had that puck on a string and beat Slapic five hole. Six nothing UB. And that was a shorthanded goal. Wow. wow. It's Duma. Sends a shot. Glove save by Georgia. Georgiev hasn't really seen a ton of shots tonight, but. The glove especially has looked pretty sharp for him. Three minutes, 20 to go in period two. ECC right back to work. What a pass. A nice save up front. Smith had a good look, and Georgia 
stuffed that one, and then he dives on top of the loose puck to stop the play. He's been tested in back-to-back possessions, but Michael Georger in his first start of the 2023-24 season, keeping the Bulls, keeping the Cats off the board. Bulls with lots of time and space. Velopec at the point to Pauly. Moving in for a shot. LaCursey scores. Top shelf. And the Bulls made it look easy 30 seconds into that power play. It's a 7-0 game. Ooh, bar down and in. That's quite a goal. So if they want to win next week against the UB Bulls, they're going to have to change their game plan. And the first goal of the game, scored by ECC, charging in on Georgia. He made the initial save, and then the rebound was loose in the crease, tapped home. Georgia sitting there in disbelief. The shutout broken. We did not utter the words. So don't blame us, Michael. I'm sorry. Taking him down from behind, and that's exactly what happened there. We're going to have four on four for the next 20 seconds. Here's Vargas still on the attack. He throws it in front. Labruto scores. Eight to one, Buffalo. Man, and I think uh, I think uh, Callan, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is a four point night for both Hector and Labruto. Vargas and Labruto each have four points, and it's a good day for both these players. <laughs> and the score will now be eight one in favor of UB. Into the zone at, during this five on three. Nice move by Baker to get around his man. He's got some speed moving up ahead. Four on two, now a four on three for ECC. Now five on three. Manjone on the near side to the slot. Smith couldn't get the shot off, couldn't settle it down. And here comes Weingart, shorthanded, moving in. Nice move and a nice save. The uh, far post is off, but the play continues. That net is definitely loose. But in this game, at least tonight, ECC struggling to generate much offense at all, regardless of how many skaters they or the opponents have on the ice. Loose puck. Everett moving in all alone against Jacobson. Great, great poke check to come way out of his net. I mean, that's as far out of a net you'll see a goaltender play a puck on a breakaway as I've ever seen. Five seconds left on the penalty to UB. <laughs> Hector Vargas. We are just on the edge of our seats up here waiting for him to get that puck in the offensive zone. He was putting pressure on shorthanded there. He wins back control along the red line. Puck goes past Nate Bailey, and it's Ben Weingart. Bailey. Long stretch pass looking for Velopec. Velopec is going to get there first. He throws it in front. Labruto tries a shot. He bats it out of the air. What a goal. Wow. 9-1 UB. Labruto joins the two-goal club. And that was fantastic. He's got three goals. Excuse me. Labruto with a hat trick. And he does it in style. ECC. With a minute and 20 to go. Vargas in the front door trying to jam it home. Labruto waved off. The puck is in the net. But the goal waved off there. I think the net was loose. Vargas had the first attempt on it. Labruto. Tried the backhand, looking for four goals. Man, Buffalo not giving up late in this game. I know Hector is going to stay out there with two goals on the power play. Minute and nine seconds on the power play. We are going to end regulation with a 9-1 UB victory here at home over Erie Community College. A dominating win for Buffalo at home. And they improve to 4-2. And they are 2-0 and against Division II opponents here in the AAU. Yeah, Ryan, I've been saying all broadcasts. This has just been fun hockey for the Bulls. I, I know our uh, statistician here, Callan Monroe, he's going to let us know how many Bulls had a multi-point night. And I, I can't even know how many there were. They were just countless. I know, obviously, Hector Vargas had a multi-point uh, multi night. Matt Tulo, Brian O'Shea, Brandon LaCourcy, all of these guys. And that's just a go off the top of my head, all of those guys had multi-point nights, but like I said, fun hockey for the Buffalo Bulls.